In the introduction to this lesson, we talked about the birth coach or birth support person. It could be anybody, honestly. Anybody who's going to be at the birth with a woman needs to know how to help her, and you need to share skills. And they should be a common set of skills that you all know what you're talking about. But I want to talk to fathers, okay, and men. These skills, birthing better skills, were equally developed by men. It was as simple as that. Fathers back in the 1970s really wanted to help. They were coming into birth for the first time. They had been sitting out in the waiting room, handing out cigars or going to the pub. They really wanted to help. We didn't know how to tell them how to help because women don't know how to birth. If you think women know how to birth, that's like, did you know how to be a good lover just because you were horny? Or when you go to a strange country, you certain about what foods are safe to eat? If you have a kid, how many years have you taken unsafe things out of their mouth? So birth is a physiological thing. It will happen to us, and that's the word happen to us. Women don't want it to happen to them. They feel out of control. So they want to figure out how to cope. And they can cope when they have skills. However, the internal sensations and the external factors sometimes make it hard to cope and we begin to lose the plot, and that shows up in how we sound and how we look. So your job is to learn the skills and be able to pay attention so that as soon as we lose the plot, you come in and help. Because for too long, particularly in my lifetime, in the modern society and the natural birth movement, it's been evocative to birth as women's business. But birth throughout time and throughout cultures has not always been women's business. It's society's business. And some cultures, women go off by themselves. Some go off with women and don't birth in their home. Some birth at home with whoever is there. There's not midwives in every culture. It's either anybody who's there who can help you, even a stranger, or a relative or a friend. So as a father in the now, you're, there's an expectation you're going to be at the birth. And so you want to have the skills, and you want to have skills that fit into your life, that aren't rocket science, that don't take a lot of time to learn, and that are effective and that she'll appreciate. Because we know, as women, that if you're not there for us, we hold it against you. We have memory like an elephant. And you know that. So you want to learn. And the good news is that when birthing better fathers and mothers develop these skills, they were based on our shared human body. So you'll discover that all human beings breathe in four patterns, that you can understand your pelvis just as a woman understands hers. And in fact, when you get to the, all the pelvic videos, have her do it on you first. Because once you feel all these skills, it will be a breeze for you to do them on her. You know exactly what to expect. Besides which, the fathers develop most of the body skills <clears throat> because they got it that it's a big object that has to come through this container and you better prepare the container to open up. So don't be scared of this. How much time do you have to put in? Well, from 24 weeks onward to birth, how about five minutes a day? Does that suit you? How much time are you going to put into your baby once it's born? A lot longer than that. How much time did you put in to learn how to drive a car? A lot longer than that. So none of these skills are hard to learn. They're not philosophical. They're just plain grow corn practical. So just listen to me because I speak for the fathers as well as the mothers because I didn't really particularly care about birth one way or another. And when fathers put in the time to help me understand what they needed to birth coach brilliantly because they loved their partner, even if they didn't always get along well with her. They wanted to protect her, even if they didn't know how. They didn't want her damaged by giving birth because they wanted to protect both the mother and the baby. And they wanted to know how. They were desperate to know how. And sadly, the natural birth movement has taken that potential away from you guys. So you're existing where there's no societal expectation that you become skilled. So we know that you're going to love these skills. 50% of all of our sales come from fathers. 
because we are really only the skills-based methods for all births that were developed equally by men and women. So just pick the skills you want to learn first. Don't worry about her. She'll pick the one she wants to learn. Tell her to if she isn't. Tell her if she insists you learn together, no, I don't want to do that and have an argument with her. Learn the skills you need from your role as a birth coach. She'll learn the skills she needs from her role as a birthing woman. Then teach each other. Right? Then start again. The more you understand that both of your roles are equally important and that both of you need skills and you need to have skills that mesh together, this is going to be fun to learn and you're going to go, yay. And what's going to happen? One is you're going to feel really good. Your birth professionals are going to actually be wowed by you. You'll work beautifully together in this life-transforming, one-off, infrequent, can't-be-replayed experience called giving birth to your baby, and you'll never be afraid of your children again. You'll move from pregnancy through birth into being a father, feeling proud of yourself, and being admired by the mother of your baby. So do it. <laughs>